Do you love comic books? Love comic books. How about comic book cartoons that intertwine with original uh, comic books, movies, some material that just crosses the entire spectrum of the pop culture media? I also like those. We like them too. Another edition of Talk Dirty to Me starts now. So, I'm Jack Lutz, Troy Stegner here with you guys. The topic of discussion, we have another top five list for you. I think you're going to dig it. And uh, this talks about Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Top five non-Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. Right, Ninja characters Turtle that are not related characters minus mm -hmm. the four turtles. Okay. That'd just be too easy. Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? It don't matter. I'll go first. You go first. I'm going to go number five, right out of the gate, Rocksteady and Bebop. Bebop count, and Rocksteady. Count them as one. They count them as great. one. Yeah, we can do that. Count them as one. Now, I'll put them in at number five. Uh, they brought a lot of great memories into the cartoons. Uh, growing up as a kid, watching them, they brought a lot of great comedic stuff. And I was really happy to see them with the the latest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film, they were a, a, a bright spot in that hunk of crap that... Yeah, I was going to ask what you thought about yeah. it. I, I, they were I, the best parts. They were the best parts of uh, the sequel. And uh, I, I, something about it, man. Always loved pl uh, fighting them in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle oh. arcade. <laughs> How they would turn red. The side-scroller. Yeah, the yeah. side-scroller. So I'd say number five will go with Bebop and Rocksteady. I can, I can get behind that. Cool. My number five, I'm going to go with um, Old Hob. I'm not even going to look at it. Okay. Uh, now, okay, a lot of people don't know who you're talking right. about. Right. He's more of the expanded universe, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. He was the cat that was around when uh, uh, the turtles and Splinter were exposed to the, mm -hmm. the ooze, the mutagen. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was uh, going to be exposed also. And I. Either he was going to attack, or Splinter thought he was going to attack one of the turtles, so yeah. Splinter scratched one of his eyes out. Mm. And uh, from that point on, Old Hob was kind of against them. <laughs> yeah, so he teamed up with Shredder. Mm -hmm. Good villain. Yeah, really good yeah, villain. Good villain choice, yeah. Check out his stuff with the Expanded Universe. And I believe he had something to do with the Mutanimals. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, look up Before he said too much, yeah, yeah. Uh, and for those that, that are in the know, they, they'll agree with Troy, man. But again, when you talk more about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Expanded Universe, that's a good character to start with. Do you notice we both picked villains so far? Yeah, I know, right? I know. <laughs> the uh, darkness in our souls is showing. <laughs> number four for me is going to be Yosachi Yojimbo. Oh. You didn't pick him? No, you didn't I, go did. With him? I did. Oh, is he your four too? Yeah. Well, He's your number four? I'm my line right there. Oh, man. Okay, I always liked him because... Uh, the, the crossover appeal that he had with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was always really cool. A lot of people were dying to see a crossover with Yojimbo know, and the Turtles, and it happened. And one of the things, I was very yeah. jealous of you. I was very jealous of you. <laughs> and I have yet to do this through our, our parent company, <laughs> the El Paso Herald Post, uh, how they were able to go to conventions and they'll, they'll they hook us up with the press passes. You got to interview Thanks the creator. Sure. Thank you, Chris Babcock. <laughs> you got to interview the creator of Yosaki Yojimbo. Oh, most humble guy you'll ever meet. I mean, you watched the video. I yeah. saw the video. I when I entered, you know, introduced him as the legendary Stan Sakai, mm -hmm. he actually blushed and turned mm -hmm. red. I was just like, wow, you know, mm -hmm. the the things you have created. Yeah. You know, for, through Yusagi, Usagi. There, I mean, Usagi is just the main character. There's other ones in that mm -hmm. that series too. Humblest guy in the world. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Him and Eastman. Yeah. Yeah, really, they, really cool together. Yeah, yeah. he said that he loved working with them, mm -hmm. uh, and he would love to do some more crossovers. So oh, yes. when Kevin comes to El Paso, we need to tell him, say, hey, you need to go talk to <laughs> You heard right there when Kevin Eastman comes back to El Paso. There you go. If you're watching this, Kevin, mm -hmm. you and Stan need to make some more crossovers. And that's what made that marriage so awesome is the fact Ninjas that... Ninjas and Samurai? Yeah, Ninjas and Samurai, another animal... There you have it, that anytime you have Yosaki Yojimbo and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles team up together, you know it's going to be really, really cool because they belong both with each other. It's it's a great, great team up. True. Cool. All right. Well, that was my, I'm not going to copy off of yours, so I'm going to go. I, I don't have my list. I don't want to look at yours. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say Krang. 
Okay. Ah, he didn't make my list. He did not make my list. The, but the brain and the robot body? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> From planet wasn't X. Yeah. The, yeah, the other dimension. Mm-hmm. Then yeah. he became, in the cartoon anyway, mm -hmm. he became the ultimate bill. I mean, because Shredder took orders from took him. took orders from Krang, yeah. Yeah. So I... In the movie, he was kind of underwhelming. And that yeah. was kind of sad. But, yeah, he's always been... Yeah, he's always been a, very, a permanent fixture as far as villains are concerned. Man, you've gone... Well, aside from Yosai, you've had nothing but villains. So far, we're rolling on four. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, what are we? What am I on? Three. You. This will be your three. Yeah. Okay. So three for me. Ah, oh, don't laugh. April O'Neil. April no. O'Neil was one of my first ever crushes. I don't care if she was a cartoon. I think you brought that up on a different. Yes. Yeah. She was a huge crush, and to see April O'Neil in the film. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, when her and Casey hooked up and they, they got it on, she was so hot. And the so original hot. Turtle movies? Not Megan Fox, right? No, 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 not Megan Fox. No, not, okay. Megan, not Megan Thumbhand Fox. Okay, I, you've redeemed yourself. Yeah, no, no. One, and even <laughs> um, the different actress that played her in parts 2 and 3, huge crush on April O'Neil. And uh, anytime I see a girl, and I'd like to see this, in a yellow jumpsuit. A yellow jumpsuit. Cool. Just get you I, going. I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> All right. No, I can I can get behind that too. Right. Uh, April was April was a strong character. Mm -hmm. uh, big ally for the turtles. Yes. Yes. Huge. Huge. He's gonna be huge. Huge. Guys. <laughs> All right. What's your three? Uh, I think I'm gonna do a team up, kind of like you did with mm -hmm. Bebop Rocks. I'm gonna go Toka and Razor. Ah. All right. A yeah. lot of people. I uh, didn't like them at first because they wanted they, to have Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah. In part two, but they went the different route. They kind of grow on you, though. They do, and they were featured in a video game as well. Yes, they were. Was it was it Turtles in Time, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, the right. home console edition? And I, I liked them, and I like how the turtles defeated them in part two. <laughs> Come on, whatever. I, I'm sorry. If if you don't like if you don't like ninja fighting while Vanilla Ice is playing in the go background, ninja, go ninja, go. I don't know if this topic is for you. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like about them in the movie was how they really dumbed them down. Mm -hmm. They were, they were almost mindless. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, they're not the smartest villains mm -hmm. in uh, the comic books, but they weren't, you know, automatons just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they they uh, they saw Shredder as their their mama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. one. Yeah. So man, he ranked it pretty high. Okay. So, two for me now, right? Yeah. Okay, Splinter. Good pick. Yeah, I'm going to go with Splinter. Splinter was always the moral compass and the glue that brought the team together when any of them went off on their own, any of them got angry at the other, he was there. He's the guided counsel for the Turtles and with a really dry sense of humor that would always come at the right time. And... The, a true butt kicker. Whenever you would see Splinter with the turtles on a mission, oh, you knew stuff was serious. You yeah. knew stuff was really going to go down. I think you got it right when you called him the glue because there was always infighting with those guys. Yeah. And one of them was always wanting to go off, mm -hmm. and do, especially Raphael. He wrangled him. He, yeah. He's the one who mm -hmm. brought them together. So your brothers, you know, yeah. stay here. Yeah, yeah, man, absolutely. He's my number two. Who's your two? That's a good, that's a good pick. Yeah, that is a good pick. Uh, I think I'm gonna go into one of the crossover characters. Ooh, another one. Okay. Uh, Gizmo Sprocket. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. You gotta put the, you gotta put the photo up of Gizmo Sprocket. Yeah. And and Fluffy. Man, both of them? You're going to well, go too? Gizmo, Fluffy, and uh -huh. Soto were kind of a team. Okay. And since they're obscure, I'll, I'll let me explain. Okay. Because uh, Fluffy was the dog, right? The mm -hmm. the talking dog. Uh, and Soto was their uh, sentient mm -hmm. semi-truck. Space, yes. space semi. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they crossed over a little bit here and there with the turtles. And I always thought he was a really interesting character. Okay. So it's some more stuff. I'd like to see more of that too. Yeah, yeah. and we'll put up a picture of Gizmo Sprocket because he's not one of the more more well known okay. characters. Cool, cool, cool. Man, he went he went outside the box. 
You really did. Because the bar was here. And, and then you just went out. Yeah, you went into space for that one. Uh, my number one. And dun, dun, dun. It, it's, I think it's pretty obvious. Shredder. Which version of Shredder? Shredder. Oh, or just man. any version. Any version of Shredder. I just thought that... Uh, Ultimate Shredder. Ultimate Shredder. Kevin Nash Shredder. <laughs> and he was all he he is he's the bad guy man that is the guy and you got to remember first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles he died he died at the end yeah. of the first issue they didn't think it was going to take off so and when the movie came out too you know they wanted to see more Shredder with the TV series people wanted to see more Shredder I just think the dude just he just looks badass man to have all these blades. On his shoulders, arms, knees, hands, you know, that these are his weapons. And I think... I look like a big cheese grater. Yeah, man. I, but, however, I think they, they really overdid him in, again, the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles remake. And I think they did him wrong in part two, how you saw him outside of his costume. And they played him as a fool, really. The dude is ruthless. The dude is a stone-cold killer, and I want to see that Shredder more often. Well, when you mention Ninja Turtles, mm -hmm. the, the first two characters people typically think of, yeah. besides the actual four turtles, is Splinter and mm -hmm. Shredder. Yeah. Even though Shredder wasn't always the main villain, sure, he's the first one that pops in your mind. Mm -hmm. he's, he's iconic. Absolutely. Great villain. Great villain. So that was your number uno? That's my number one. And yours? <laughs> I had a few that I had circled for number one, but let's go with... <laughs> it's a toss-up. Wow. It's going to be another crossover here. Again! I'm going to blow your mind again. Okay. Cerebus, the aardvark. Oh, man. That one... One of the most long-running... Comics. Independent comics. Independent yeah. books of all Ever, time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little background on Cerberus, Cerebus. Yeah, that went from... 1977 to 2004. That's 2004. Done by Dave Sim, a Canuck. Man. Canadian? A Canadian. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. I just reaching back there. Another black and white yeah. comic. Man, if you have the chance. Great character. you got to go back and check that comic book out, man. Definitely. I totally forgot. That those two, that those two entities, that those two titles had a little bit of a crossover. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, guys, I, I figured you were probably gonna stay more mainstream. So I, I did, yeah. So I, I, I reached out. Good call. And, yeah, you did. So, so I, that we didn't I, double up our efforts. I like how ours were very different from the other, except for the Yosagi and the. Yeah, really. That's the only one where we had. Where we had anything yeah. the same. Yeah. You have any honorable mentions? Honorable mention: Vanilla Ice. Oh, good one. Vanilla Ice is my yeah. honorable mention. Do the movie. I will also say Sam Rockwell <laughs> from Ninja Turtles 1. He's a good... Uh, I love that guy. Yeah, he's a good honorable mention. And... Jeez, I've always liked Baxter Stockman. Mm, it's another strong pull. They did him wrong again in, in, in the, the movie. movie. Uh... Jeez, man. Medea meets the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Batman. Oh, man, the crossover between Batman Two, and, and the Ninja Turtles. Well, DC did one, and you, now IDW is doing the animated Oh, episode. man, you did all Batman. crossovers. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Well, okay. to keep it in the universe, you also had, I put down Scumbug, uh -huh. uh, you know, the Exterminator. Yeah. Bloodsucker, mm -hmm. the leech, who I wasn't there long, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, Ace the Duck. Okay. The guy who drove their blimp. Oh, man. Man, <laughs> okay. Let us know who your favorite characters are that uh, aren't the four turtles. Did we hit a few? Did we miss a few? Let us know in the we, comment section. We missed a lot. I know we There's did. A lot I characters. know we did. And. I like how ours differed from each other greatly. So that'll do it for another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me, our top uh, list there. And remember, you can follow us on Facebook, our YouTube channel. Click subscribe, also with the El Paso Herald Post, iTunes, all of those places. Follow us, stalk us, and let us know what you think. That'll do it. Again, I'm Jack Lutz.
Troy Stegner. This has been another edition of Good Night. <laughs> this has been another edition. Good again. Of yeah. Talk Nerdy to Me. Good night. And sleep tight. Need to. Oh! Nailed it! Oh. <laughs>